Hello everyone, I'm Marina and Dead at Grammel School. Nail strengthening with solid materials has got more popular lately. But base coats are great too. And we can sculpt perfect nails with base coats. So trust me, the technique I'm going to show you today may surprise you. Let's get into it. Here are the nails that we need to transform. Removing the coating, we can see that it's super thin. There is no alignment. So I remove the color, leaving a thin base coat layer. There are lots of liftings. The model turn of the coating on the index nail. So it's peeling now. Please explain it to your clients why they can't do it at home. The removal should be done by a nail tack. Otherwise, the nails will get thinner and any coating will last poorly. Even if we use transcendent materials, it's a vicious circle. The more one peels of the coating because the nails peel, the thinner the nails get. In that case, I recommend one grows healthy nails first and only then goes for a new coating. If there is little peeling, we can polish it with 180 slash 240 grit nail file. 240 grit one would be the best. Or we can buff the nails. Make sure to move downwards, so as to keep the nail scales sealed. That will do for proper bonding. To the manicure now. My model did this nails herself. But afterwards, she completed a basic course at our school. So now she knows how to align and strengthen the nails. She knows what to fix. That's precious for me, that my students work on their mistakes and learn from them. Since there's been no alignment, some of the nails cracked. I will have to extend the middle nail and do a combined manicure. There is little cuticle, so I use a flame drill bit to cut and polish it. Or we can top it off with a silicone carbide drill bit. The nails are ready for coating. So I go with a primer for better bonding first. Today I will be using products by IQ Beauty. We will need a few base coats. For our first layer, we will need a plastic rubber one. It won't lift up or peel off. We need a thin layer. I love this rounded brush. It's perfect for the cuticle zone. Beginner nail techs will love it too. Now send it to cure. And I will extend the middle nail using a paper form. We need to trim it if there is a gap. To make sure the base coat does not flow there. To sculpt an elegant nail shape, we make cuts and squeeze the form. It should fit the nail plate. I will shape almonds right away. Yes, I will change the initial shape. So don't be confused that I didn't file it. I will do it later, after the alignment, to get a clear and hard shape. I cure it, wipe off the residue and then I can file it. But I won't file the surface. Note that I will strengthen the nails with a hard base coat. It will make them harder. The rubber one won't do here. We can use it on shorter nails, which is not the case here. This step will prevent sagging. Now I want to talk about the aligning part, since many nail techs seem to struggle with it. So we need to grab a pea sized drop, a bit more or less, depending on the nail width. Do a thin layer all over the nail first, and then put the drop on the apex. Pull it towards the free edge. Touch up the sides with the side of the brush and make light strokes moving up and down. Don't whip the coating. 
to avoid bubbles. Those are hard to pop. Now we can turn the finger over, tilt it down a bit. Just make sure that the drop is on the apex and not on the free edge. I align the metal nail with the hard base. Guide by the highlight. It will tell you if you did it right. If the highlight is elongated and even, then the surface is even too. We've got a smooth lift to the highest point and then a smooth descent. I don't have a round lamp right now, but I can tell you that the surface is even. Note that the index nail is naturally curved. So here is how we can fix this. I put some base in the center and then add a drop on the tip to lift it up. I do it without gels or poly gels, just the hard base coat. So I highly recommend you have a few base coats. Different in consistency and texture. This base coat is non-acidic, so it won't damage the nail. Now we file the free edge. And if there is pooling or any other flaws, just wipe off the residue and file the surface. This part confuses most nail techs. Why do we file the base coat? It's not gel. But it's the same polymer material. So we can do it just the way we do the gel. And due to filing nails afterwards, we've got a strong, solid tip and a clear shape. Filing the shape and strengthening it right away might have resulted in the lack of base coat on the tip, so it could easily chip. And this technique will make it last. Don't forget to file it out on the inside, though. Do you like manicure and nail extensions? If you do, join my new online course on nail sculpting from zero to pro and get your certificate. The course is available worldwide. For more information, click the link in the description box below. IQ Beauty launched their new collection, Spring Summer 2023. It's called Jungle Flower and there are four colors. Jungle Siesta, Light Blue, Bohemian and Rosy Rose. The colors are opaque and come with round brushes. This color is neon, but you can't see it on camera. Just trust me, it will be gorgeous for summer. I will do nail art using olive and blue. I make random strokes with a flat brush, imitating a texture. Next up, I mix it with some milky gel polish. Note that it's not a base coat, it's a sheer gel polish. I mix colors with tapping moves. The lines shouldn't be even. Quite the opposite, the messier the better. I paint the cuticle zone with a thin brush. If we do it right away, gel polish may pull, and we don't need that. Remember this palette from AliExpress? So it's glitter time. This one is thick, so it's perfect for this nail art. Now let's add white lines for more texture. We can use watercolor drops or watercolor for this purpose, but this technique is faster. Just mix some gel paint with base or top coat and paint lines. Go from opaque to sheer by taking off the axis. I also add thinner lines with a thin brush. They nicely finish off the textured look. I love doing this nail art. Me and my model couldn't take our eyes off these nails. In real life, they look like gemstones. As for the top coat, four nails will be glossy and the thumb matte. I will add more texture with gel there. Wipe up the residue 
and rub in the nail powder. Now seal it with a glossy top coat. Secure the top coat with the UV flashlight in between to keep the line thin. I'm using a high viscosity gel, so the shape is secured. Note that the base or top coat won't do here. Let's sum it up. We can strengthen the nails with the base coat, but we just need to make sure that it suits the nail type. Check out more videos on nail alignment on my channel. Success in your work. Good luck. Bye-bye.